this is pretty much the area in our body where the, when the energy starts to come up, it's, it's the narrow area where, where it gets trapped. So the throat and the jaw. These are the two areas we're going to work with today. What happens is usually the belt of tension above the one that we're working with tries to prevent the spontaneous expression by tightening up again. So that's why it's important always when we work with people to keep coming back to the belt of tension that you worked with before. In the throat, there's two areas where the, the sound or the, the outward expression of energy can lock up. One is right here, just a, below the chin, and one is just a bit below this area, right here, in the throat. So it's kind of like two diaphragms that, that are in the throat that, that are areas of defense, yeah? the, the, the locks that keep blocking the, the out, outflow of expression of energy. The next level is your jaw. So even if the energy does make it through your throat, there's one more level, this is your mouth, which actually has to come out through your mouth. A lot of the times it comes in the form of sound. A lot of the times it comes in the form of growl or words. So any form of sound that gets stuck in the throat creates this tension. And that's why we explored this in the morning in your sharing your memory of the first experience where you felt that your expression's been interrupted. And I'm sure you found that a lot of the times it results in the tightness in the throat or even sore throat. You want to say something and you don't, and you keep it in, you end up with the sore throat the next day. And then you wonder why, oh, my throat hurts. Most of the time we don't make the connection. But the stuck, stuckness of energy in the body absolutely creates some kind of result. So we will work today with a few techniques to help you unlock the jaw. So let's see for you, Claire, what do you feel is happening in your throat and your jaw? Throat is sore, right? My throat's sore right here, and my jaw is soft. <clears throat> it's tight, but it's less tight from the lion exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so already some opening started to happen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's explore how we can take this opening deeper. Usually, when we <coughs> try to open up the constriction. We need to activate this constriction to create a space for opening. It is important to make sound. It is important to say, to express. And a lot of the times we don't do it for the fear of being rejected, for the fear of not being loved. This is the main reason that we stop, that we interrupt. So let's express, let, let's explore, sorry, what you've been holding in your throat and your jaw. So for now, I want you to close your eyes for a moment and connect with your body. Connect especially with the area around your jaw and your throat. Yeah, and like we said, there's two areas where it can be blocked. It's either here, right below the chin, and just a little bit lower in the throat. And already as I as I pointed out on Claire's body and I and I talk about it, you could see, you could feel that these emotions start to come for her. Yeah. You can let yourself feel Claire, but I want you to bring your attention now to the tightness in your throat. 
to the soreness that you mentioned before and also to the tightness that might be living in your jaw. Take a deep, full breath. So the emotional charge right away connected with, with the tension there. Or the tension rather connected with the emotional charge. As soon as we brought our attention to it, the emotion came to the surface. So let's explore this in the session. Let's see what can come up during the session. Yeah, you can open your eyes for a moment. We will use this uh, napkin. In the session, you will start first to breathe, and then I'll ask you to bite onto it. Yeah. Okay. And then I pull, and you hold on. Yeah. And notice what happens for you that this anger and frustration starts to come forward. So it may be something like this. It's important that when I pull, you make sound and you hold on to it with your teeth. Yeah, something like this. And then sometimes what happens is gagging reflex comes. Yeah, when we do this, we want to we want to release something yeah, with the gagging. So it's important that you allow yourself to do that. This is, starts to release all the constriction that you've been holding in the throat, in the jaw, and also in the stomach area. The stomach contracts and wants to give something out. So we'll use this. And at the same time, allow whatever happens through your body, allow it to release through movement. I would love for you to bring your knees up and plant your heels into the mattress. So for now, you can start with a deep, full, connected breathing yeah, with your mouth. And I want you to relax your, your jaw, that you're not blowing air out actively. You're just allowing it to flow a little more open. just in case there's something that comes up for you. But start to breathe a little more charging, not like you're trying to fall asleep. Yeah, it's, we want to wake up. We want to bring the breath flowing so you can charge your body with energy. But yes, just like that, it's great. Open your jaw and now and bite onto the napkin. Really bite, bite into it. Bite into it. Yeah? I want you to bite into it. Yeah? And you can put it into your mouth yourself. Yeah? Yeah? Take it. Take it with your hands clear, and put it into your mouth. Yeah. Bite into it. Really bite with your teeth. Yes. Now I'm going to try to pull it out. You don't let me. Make sound. Make sound. Yeah. Okay, let go now. Let go. Let go. Let go of your teeth. Let go of the napkin. Let go. Now breathe. Allow the jaw to move. Come back to breath. Now notice what your body wants to do. And now I'm going to press a bit here where, uh, uh, where it might be like, uh, yes, now the kicking motion comes. Let yourself explore this. Let yourself kick down. Yes. 
Yes. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah, say it. Fuck off. Say it. Fuck off. So what I do here, muscle called sternocleidomastoid, SCM. Yeah, this is the muscle right here. So I, I pinch it between my two fingers. This is what brought up for her this fuck off, yeah? this expression in the throat. And this starts to unlock all the tension that we carry here. Again, I invite you to go into the charged breath. And at the same time, I work with the back of the neck. The belt of tension runs all the way through. Yes. And again, I want to go in with pinching this part of the throat, of the neck. So use this motion. Oh. Yeah, use the movement. Yes. Don't stop it. Oh. Don't grab me, but you can release into the mattress. Oh. Yeah, I encourage you to move the movement in the legs. Yeah? Use use your legs. Let the voice come. Don't let it get stuck again in your throat. Yes, great. Allow it. Yeah? Watch that you're going into this movement and then you collapse again. I want you to continue with it. Yes. Yes, great. Kick. Yeah, this is a fight or flight that wants to come out of the body. We activated it. I would, I would say this is enough for her, so now I want to resource her through my touch. I want to just relax. Deep, full breath into your belly. Notice, yeah, yeah, there's some movement in the spine that wants to happen. Give it, give it a chance. Let it happen. Yeah, as you mentioned before, that somebody was trying to strangle. So this trapped in there. Yeah, allow. Notice how it feels in your body. Notice. <laughs> yeah, and you see this tremoring. Yeah, this is an effect of the nervous system releasing the shock. And it's great that this happens. Yeah, so in your sessions, when you notice that the tremoring comes, the shaking, this is a release.
Slow down, slow down. You can stay present. Stay present to your experience currently as much as possible. Yeah, you can allow the strumming to arise. Ask you to start to come back. Do you feel like you need more time? Mm. No, it's just kind of that. I'm awake. Yeah, that's the whole point to stay present and awake to your experience, not to disconnect from it. It's great that you are awake. Sometimes I felt really powerful with that thing in my mouth, like there's no way you're going to beat me. Like my competitive side came in, like you're not going to beat me, you're not going to, you're not going to win. Um, and then other times I wanted to just curl up and do nothing. I had a strong sense of doing a backward roll and and locking your head mm -hmm. and breaking your neck with my legs. Yeah, your defense mechanism kicks in. Um, yes. I suppose different uh, humor was coming up as well. Mm -hmm. um, that is your resource. Yeah, so I I was I was kind of cracking jokes in my head. I wanted to share them with you, but I thought maybe it would, won't be appropriate. <laughs> um, sick. I still feel sick. Like seasick. Um, no control. Like fear as well. A lot more fight in me than I imagined. I wanted to fight you. Mm -hmm. How does the how does it feel? It made you feel powerful. Yeah. Yeah, I could have beaten you. Great. Yeah. Like a little fighter came in me. Mm -hmm. um, what else did I feel? Sick. My jaw. Angry. Like you motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Don't touch me. Like great. Mm -hmm. Self-preservation mechanism is there. Yeah, really strong. You won't beat me. Great. <laughs> this is what we're looking for. Yeah, like yeah, you don't collapse. You know. So there's some opening happens in the throat. And when the throat becomes open, there's more resonance. Re our throat is a resonating chamber for our voice. Yeah? So when the throat relaxes, the voice becomes more vibrant. Mm -hmm. Becomes deeper, becomes more, it has more resonance and timbre. Mm 